is Antoinette Bay. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Lindbergh, New York. That is on the south shore of Long Island. And I'm coming to you today with a project that I created on my Facebook Live today. You would give this to someone really special in your life um, with the amount of product or work that goes into it. So what you see here right now are the, uh, this is would be the front of the card and this would be the inside of the card. So you're seeing all the pieces that I'm using today for the front and the inside of the card. And I'm using the focal point here is the Forever Greenery paper, designer series paper, which I absolutely love and I'm really glad to be using this today. So let's get started. So this is a piece of four, five and a half by eight and a half crumb cake card stock. We're gonna fold that in half, give it a nice crease. And then we're going to take my tool which distresses, and we're going to distress all pieces right here, just the edges. This is a tool that I've had for quite some time now. It used to be something we sold, Stampin' Up! sold, but we don't carry it anymore. But it is a distressing tool, so it's not something that I would ever get rid of. So here we are with that. And these are, um, this is two and a half by four and three quarters. And these are two inch by three and a half. And we're going to scrape these as well. Next, we're going to crinkle these up a little bit just to loosen up the fibers a bit and then peel a corner just with your fingernail. Okay, just peel that slightly and do the same on all three pieces. Just peel it back slightly. Some are easier than others for some reason to peel back. But that's why you crinkle it up, so it loosens up the fibers. And you also have to have a little bit of a nail here to do that. All right, that's that. Now we're going to take a sponge and we're going to use crumb cake ink. and we're going to just very gently sponge the edges here. Okay, we'll put those pieces aside for now. Clean off my workspace and then we're going to keep the crumb cake out and we're going to take a sentiment from the stamp set butterfly wishes love to celebrate you is the stamp set that I'm a stamp that I'm using we're also going to be using this butterfly and love to celebrate you from the butterfly wishes we're going to be using from Very Versailles, we're going to be using the words here and this leaf branch. And then from Free as a Bird, we're using this leaf and we're using this larger flower. Okay, so we're using three different stamp sets to make this very vintage card. So let's take the Celebrate You. Now, this is where I'm going to bring over a sheet of paper so I can stamp off and I don't really need to get all the words 
on here because they are mostly going to be covered up. So I'm just randomly stamping a few words here and there. Now we're going to take white craft ink and I'm going to actually take open this up. You can see I've used it before. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to open up the craft white. Spread that ink down and then turn around and spread it down from this direction. And then I want to go sideways. and crisp up the edges. And we'll do the inside edges as well. Okay, so I'll put that aside for a moment as well. Now that all that sponging and inking up is done, we can take our designer series paper and some stamp and seal, and we can adhere that. Right to the edge, and there's about a half inch peeking out on the top and the bottom. And there we have that. Then we could take our flower right here. This is the dye layered blossoms. And I'm just cutting some flowers here with the leaves on them. I want the thickness of the leaves. And one will go up here like that. And then this bottom one will go doesn't have to be perfect over here like that. It's going to be covered up anyway, so we'll cut some of that off just like that. Okay, we'll put these to the side in case we need some more. And then we'll grab the silicone mat and some white glue. And then I'm going to take a sponge that already has some glue on it, and I know that because it has this clip on it, and sponge that up and add it to the back of this flower so I could get enough down to hold it. Right there. And we'll do the same with this one. this away. Okay, now we'll take the shaded spruce first and some liquid glue. You could use any adhesive you want. I choose one being that this is not exactly a flat surface now since I crinkled it up. Uh, I choose to use liquid glue. I feel like it will hold it better. And then we'll do old olive. And I'm making sure that little that little edge that I um, crinkled up, this little corner, that they're all lined up in the same direction on top. And then the mint macaron. Okay, so we'll let that sit and dry for a moment, and we'll move on to some more stamping. I'm going to fold my grid paper in half, and we'll move on to stamping. So we're going to take the words, the script, from Very Versailles. I'm going to ink that up, but stamp off first. I want it to be light, and then just 
place it right on top of the whole thing. And that's nice and light, but a little bit too light, so I'm gonna flip it over. And I like that a little bit better. It's a little bit more noticeable. So with this, I'm going to take old olive ink with the leaves, the branch, and then I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green Sponge Dauber, my Granny Apple Green ink pad, and lightly daub some of these areas, and then clean that off. And we'll grab a corner here, and we're not going to re-ink that, and we're going to do it again down here. Okay, so one's a little darker, one's a little lighter. The granny apple green did soften it up a bit. And now we're going to take our distressing tool once again. Just notice that I pre-punched the tag and the tag that I used was called Delightful Tag Topper. So this is very vanilla and a two inch piece. And I punched it out with the Delightful Day Tag Topper. I'm sorry that I had pre-done that and I didn't realize that prior. I would have liked to have done that with you. And I pre-punched a circle uh, from a punch that is no longer with Stampin' Up, but another tool that I will not be rid of. And I'm going to take that little circle and lightly distress the edges here and lightly sponge the edges as well. And then we'll add a little glue around this circle here, this hole. We'll add a little bit of glue so we can put that circle on there. And then I have a um, crocodile, very old. This is it. And that's what I use to punch holes like this. I turned it over so I could see exactly where I need to punch a hole. And that would be it. And then I'm going to take that sponge again and take a little crumb cake ink and sponge these edges. Then we'll take the Very Vanilla Lace Ribbon and Old Olive Ribbon. So this is the Very Vanilla Lace. And this is the Old Olive that I'm using from the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combination Pack, Combo Pack. And we'll put both of these pieces through this circle. And what I'm going to do is take my stylus from my scoring tool and push those right through that circle. Okay, and make it a little bit even and leave that there. And then we'll take twine, linen thread I should say, and tie a knot around this and then a bow. Okay, and now we're ready to put this on the card. Let's move this out of the way. So I'm going to put some dimensionals. I'm 
See, because with these three layers, it's a little bit raised, and I'm going to put this right on top of it, so I need that dimension behind there so it lays nicely. And then some adhesive on this side. And I'm going to put this. We're going to fix up these ribbons later. Right about here. Then we'll take with glue dots, we're going to glue down this. These leaves are from Celebrate Sunflowers dies, and we're using these two pieces from that set. So we'll take some glue dots. And glue down these white flowers first. Right about there. And then we're going to cut off the top of these two. This is Old Olive, and this was Shaded Spruce, and also glue dot those. These are going to get covered up because we are going to create something to go over that and here. Okay? Now we're going to take the plum cake ink pad and a piece of white cardstock and stamp this stamp, but we're going to cut out the words celebrate you. That's all we want for this. So I first want to make a nice cut across here and take off the love to. And then I'm going to flag it. Okay. And that's going to go there. And then I'm going to flag a piece, a strip of crumb cake. Okay, that's garbage. So then we're going to take our sponge again and in crumb cake ink. I'm going to sponge this up a bit. So now this will go over here like this. So it will stick out slightly, that side. And I don't need this whole piece, so I'm going to cut it right about here. And then we'll adhere that down. And then we'll adhere the sentiment just over the top of that, slightly over. Okay, now we're up to the very last part of this, which is going to be to add some leaves and a butterfly. So we'll take some scrap white and we're going to stamp in early espresso. I'm going to stamp the leaf and the flower from Free as a Bird stamp set right here. And I'm going to stamp it in the ink once and then stamp off on my scrap and then on my card, white Whisper White card stock. Hmm, that's a little too light. Let's go with this one. Yep, that's better. Okay, we'll put those to the side. And this is where I'm taking my blender pens. And the first thing I'm going to do is the flower. So I'm taking Rich Razzleberry Light Blend Coloring in the Flower with the Rich Razzleberry Light Blend first. Then I'm taking Old Olive Light Blend and adding some color around the Rich Razzleberry. 
Then I'm taking dark crumb cake blend and adding some highlights. Okay. And then I'm taking light crumb cake blend and pulling these colors out from the center out. That's that. And then we're going to do the leaves in dark granny apple green and we're just doing the veins of the leaf in this dark granny apple green. And then we'll take the light old olive, the brush side, and go right over that and blend them both together. And I also want to get a little bit of the branch, the, give that a little color too. Okay. Now, normally I would cut these in front of you, but this video is going to go long, so I will cut them separately. I'll cut just these two for now, but we're going to need several for the card itself. Okay, so now we have all the flowers and the leaves cut. So we are going to now stamp the butterfly in crumb cake. And then we're going to take several sponge daubers. So we have rich razzleberry, we have old olive, granny apple green and early espresso. So let's just start with the rich razzleberry. I've just inked it up with crumb cake. I'm going to take a dab of rich razzleberry and add that to the center. And then I'm going to dab it in old olive. And this is the old olive. And add a little of that. And then a little garden green. I'm sorry, granny apple green. Add that around a little bit. And then finally, oh, es early espresso. Early espresso. And kind of dab that around the edges and the antennas. Okay. Now we'll give that a good stamp. Okay, there we have it. Nice and colorful. So now we're going to want to cut this butterfly. Now we'll take a sponge and some crumb cake and try to just make those crisp white edges a little less crisp. Now we can put the front together by adding a couple of these leaves with blue dots. <clears throat> so we'll put one, let's see, about here, and another one 
another out here well, like that and then this one will go up a little bit like that then we'll take some dimensionals behind the butterfly over a bit and also this over a bit let's get these up a little bit Let's get some pearls. Three pearls. And that is the front of the card. However, we do want to cut up some of this ribbon down. And we're going to need that leaf and these three flowers later. Here we have the front of the card. Now let's move on to the inside of the card. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take this piece of crinkle white seam binding and a shaded spruce dark blend pen and color that and we'll let that sit to dry. We're going to take this piece and cut it, tear it toward us. Then we are also going to take the script and crumb cake and we will stamp that right here. We'll stamp off a bit and then stamp here, here, and here. Just like that. And then we're actually going to take this again and we're going to sponge that up a bit. Then we're going to take Old Olive and Garden Green. And we'll start with Old Olive first. Dab that and add a little color here and a little color around here. First was the old olive, and now we'll do garden green. Add a little color there, and a little bit more there. Okay. So we'll adhere that, just like that. Right to the edge. Like that. Okay. So the next thing we'll do is this is also another older tool. It's a corner, so it just gives the corner a nice cut. We don't need it to be this long. So we'll cut that down and then we'll sponge that up with whatever's left on this crumb cake. And then we'll take, take your pick tool and pierce 
pierce a hole right through there so that we can throw some linen thread in there, which is right here. And we'll loop it right through. I want to sponge it up a little bit more. It's not roughed up enough. Okay, that's better. Okay, that'll go right about there. So I'll put some adhesive there. That goes down first. Then we're going to take this ribbon, take some tear and tape, small piece, put it right down about here, right at the edge, peel that up, and place this straight down. We don't want too much to show off the edge. Just a hint. If you can see it from the other side, it's just a hint showing through. And then we want to put a dab of liquid glue, not a lot, and spread it so that it will stick, but it will not stick through won't stick to the other side of the card. So it's sticking to the thickest part of this white uh, uh, vanilla lace ribbon, which is this seam right here. And I'm going to add a little bit more right here. Hold that down and it won't stick. It won't will this will dry up and we'll clean it up so that it will not stick to the card when it closes. Now I'm going to take this old olive piece and tear that toward you. Crinkle it up a bit. And then once again with crumb cake ink pad, sponge that up. And adhere it right about there. And then we are going to cut a flag banner right here. And take our distressing tool again this is very subtle distressing now we don't want this to go all the way over we want it to go right about here so I'm going to cut off about a quarter of an inch off the edge and add that right there. But first, we'll add a little bit of sponging with what's ever left on the sponge. And we'll adhere that right here. Okay. And then next we will take this and this goes on top and this goes on top 
I'm going to take that ribbon that we colored, an old olive ribbon, and a little bit of lace, and we'll put that right here. Just like that. This is all going to get covered up, this section right here. So we'll take a glue dot and put that right down here. One other piece, this other leaf here, we're going to cut off the top and put that underneath here, like that. Now we'll take flowers and use glue dots and put those down right here. Just play with it so it covers up all the gluey areas. Then we'll take the word celebrate from the stamp with the sentiment and we'll stamp it on a piece of white cardstock and cut that out just the word celebrate some glue dot and just adhere it one on each side and we'll just adhere that right about here And now we just have to do stamp the sentiment again in early espresso onto this stitched shape. This is a rectangle stitch shaped ship is it stitched shape. I'm just cleaning off the crumb cake and I'm going to add early espresso to this. Then we'll sponge this. Actually, I needed that. We need crumb cake. I forgot to stamp this earlier when we were on the first page. And we'll stamp this off a little bit and then right on here. This should have been done before I decorated the front. But there you go. That's pretty much what I wanted. And now we'll do it again on the top, but we're going to do it in craft white. Lots of parts to this card, but it's beautiful when it's done. Okay, now this is the craft white, and I'm inking that up. And this is going to go right here, just like that. Okay. Then we'll take the early espresso 
and the flower and the leaf. And we'll add that right here. And add some leaf right here and here. Okay. Oh, we have these strips right here. And we can make little flags in those. It's all about the little details. All about the little details. And so one piece can go here. It's a little. Let's see. That'd be fine. Let's get some adhesive on there. some of that off the top. And a little bit more off the top. I kind of want to be a little bit more even. Okay. And then this wood piece can be a little bit longer. sentiment and a leaf um, actually I'm going to use a little bit of glue right here more glue right there for the bow. Don't need a lot, just need to put, apply some pressure to the bow in order for it to stick well. Now let's get some more pearls. There's the inside, here's the outside. Now my twine is a little bit long. And we need to cut down the twine on the inside and the lace. There's the inside. So you can always write your note. You can start over here and bring it up over here and then continue on the back. But it's a really elegant, pretty card to give to someone special. Someone who's graduating from college, maybe. So celebrate you, love to celebrate you, and then just celebrate. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for joining the Paper Papillion. Thank you. Bye-bye.